the psychology of what we're doing has as much an influence on what we're doing physiologically, but there's always a second order to that. And if I'm looking at it from, okay, the readiness isn't there, good opportunity to teach this young person the value of going to bed earlier and taking care of their body when they're not training. It's also, I'm going to let the group kind of help me here a little bit and help this person get a great day regardless because they're there, right? That's, that's an underrated aspect of the athlete experience is that they're there. And a lot of times they want the, even when they're tired or they're not feeling it, to be there, to be, be rewarded for that, right? They don't want to be admonished and punished for the most, like, oh yeah, you, you, you didn't, you showed up or you're not prepared. Like in their mind, they did what they did something above and beyond. And they probably could have found an excuse to not come or made up something where they're not, they're not ready to do it, but they're there. So finding a way to kind of bridge that gap of like, I know from a physiological preparedness standpoint, you don't have it, but in the other end of it, you got to get the value from that day because I got them and I might as well. And we only have about 32 and 32 sessions in off season for, for football in terms of winter and summer. So I got to make this one 30.